Hi everyone, my name is Craig and today we are taking a look at the newly released Cove Casita speaker from Cove Audio. Full disclosure, Cove sent me this unit to review, but they will not be seeing this video before I post it and no money exchange hands up front. If you decide you want to purchase this speaker, you can use the promo code Craig29 underscore 67 for 67% off at checkout and I'll get a small commission. But again, they paid me nothing up front to say anything about the unit. They simply enjoyed the review I did of the Cove Commuter 2, which I'll link down below, and they asked if I would like to review Casita. So here we are. Let's dive into the review. First thing, let's talk about the design. I genuinely think they took into consideration some of the recommendations that I and other creators gave them on earlier products when thinking about the design of Casita. First is the addition of more ports and better ports. On this speaker, you get USB-C charging finally, which is going to align more nicely with most people's devices. With this speaker, we also get a USB type A port and this port charges your phone and also works for audio playback. I tested this with my iPhone and it indeed does work to charge your device, which is so nice if you want to be away from a power source, but you don't want your phone to die while you're listening away with friends. We also get a standard 3.5 millimeter aux jack so you can plug in an aux cable to your computer or a mobile device, plug it straight into Casita and play music. Other design features include a solid top handle for carrying, rubber feet for a secure placement on any slick surface, a power button, plus and minus buttons for switching songs and managing volume, and a mode button for changing listening profiles, but more on that in just a minute. Overall weight comes in right around four pounds, so it isn't too heavy or too light. It feels rugged enough to withstand some heavy duty use, but light enough to transport to a variety of environments. Overall, I'd give two thumbs up for build quality and design improvements. Okay, next up is connectivity. It is funny to go back and watch my review of the Commuter 2 just a few short months ago and see the improvements that they already were thinking about on their new devices. With Casita, we now get Bluetooth 5.0. On some of Cove's previous devices, we got Bluetooth 4.2, which definitely was older technology, but I must say I never had any issues connecting with any of my devices with Bluetooth 4.2. I think Bluetooth's newest technology is 5.2, if I'm not mistaken. So 5.0 is just a step down from that. However, we should see improved connectivity speeds and reliability on Casita due to the new Bluetooth software. As for range, I was easily able to get 100 feet on my line of sight test, which is more than enough distance for any use I can think of. In my experience, I've had no issues with connectivity with Casita, but if you experience problems, please let us know in the comments below and we can dialogue together about what issues you might be facing. Okay, now moving on to sound quality. This speaker sounds great. There's decent low end on the speaker, not as much bass as I would actually have expected from a larger speaker, but it gets the job done. And I will say the vocals and the mid-range frequencies come through very nicely. So if you're someone who likes to listen to melodies, the lyrics of a song, or even podcasts, this speaker will be great for those purposes. There are three listening modes that you can enable on Casita. There's standard, outdoor, and 3D sound effect. And in my experience, definitely standard sounds the best, and I would highly recommend keeping it in this mode, no matter what type of environment you're in. The outdoor profile seems to allow for more mid frequencies to come through a bit, but it didn't seem to help with volume output at all and distorted the sound a little bit. And the 3D sound profile sounds terrible. I definitely would not recommend listening to this profile. In my experience, I found that the standard EQ was best for listening purposes, and I recommend you keep it in this setting to achieve best results. Okay, last category is volume output. The output on Casita is very impressive. I was actually able to trigger the loud warning indicator on my Apple Watch while testing the output. Uh, which I've only seen triggered when I'm shooting a show or listening to music in the car at a really high volume. So I was standing pretty close when this happened, so it's probably not a fair test. Um, and I have no real concerns about my hearing when it comes to listening to music at high volumes. But what it tells me is that this is definitely loud enough for most group listening scenarios. Whether you're gonna be listening outdoors with friends or listening in the privacy of your own home, there's plenty of output for any of your needs. Okay, final thoughts. Honestly, I'm really impressed by this boombox speaker. There are solid ergonomics, great output, improved ports and functionality. And overall, I just think it's a great value. But what I'm more impressed with is the direction that Cove is headed as a company. 
I remember almost two years ago getting my first pair of headphones from them, and I've continued to see constant improvements to their products. I'm a huge music fan, and the fact that there is a small company who is striving to provide affordable listening equipment to the consumer market is really encouraging. I definitely keep an eye on where they're headed for the future. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it or learned something new, feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Much love.